Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to Speed Secrets, brought to you by the guys at Speedmaster. Now, it's no secret the internal combustion engine needs basically four things to make power. You gotta have airflow, we get that through the cylinder heads and intake manifold. You gotta have fuel, that comes from a carburetor or injectors. Now you gotta squish all that down, that's our compression. And the final element is spark. We get that through the ignition system. For this episode, Speedmaster sent over an ignition combo kit for a small block Chevy. Let's see if it works. Now that we've opened the box, let's take a closer look and see what's inside. Included in the Speedmaster ignition system combo kit was a built distributor and high output coil, along with the wiring harness and all the hardware necessary for the installation. Included in the combo kit was a variety of springs and bushings to allow you to dial in the advanced curve to your combination. Removing the cap and rotor provides access to the springs, weights, and bushings. The bushings determine how much advance, and the springs tell you when that will happen. We like the fact that Speedmaster provided provisions in the plug wire retaining cap to facilitate distributor cap removal, and that the kit included an Allen wrench that fit all the mounting hardware, including the cap, rotor, coil mounts, and terminals. Okay, we've taken a look inside. We've set our springs and bushings. Now it's time to slide this baby in, hook up the coil, and fire it up. Wiring for the new distributing coil is very straightforward. There's one red wire that goes to a 12 volt ignition switch. There is a red and white wire for the coil. Match the red wire to the red terminal. The coil is clearly marked. The final wire is the high tension lead running from the center of the distributor to the terminal on the coil. Once you hook up those four, installation is complete. One of the things we liked about this new distributor and coil from Speedmaster was its versatility. It can be installed as a ready to run or with a simple one wire hookup attached to an ignition amplifier. Before we could test a new distributor and coil, obviously we needed a test motor. This little small block represented your typical street strip combination. It was a stock short block upgraded with a mild comp cam, a set of RHS aluminum heads, and an induction system that included a Speedmaster dual plane eliminator intake and a Holley 650 XP carburetor. As you can see, we've got our distributor and coil installed and hooked up properly, but there's still only one way to know for sure whether it's gonna work. We've gotta run it on the dyno, so let's make some noise. Well, we finished our dyno testing and the little small block did great. 384 horsepower and 385 foot-pounds of torque. But more importantly, the new distributor and coil performed flawlessly. Now we like the packaging, I like the performance, and we like the easy hookup. But more importantly, I like the versatility. I like knowing that if I upgrade my small block later on with nitrous or boost and need to add ignition amplifier, this system has the ability to grow with me. And it's a one-wire hookup. I'm Richard Holder for Speed Secrets, and that's all for today. 